Welcome to Candid Africa, truthful and unapologetic. Um, Barbados, and I at this moment happen to be the Prime Minister, has responsibility, lead responsibility for reparations in CARICOM. I'm not surprised because we were that country where the modern expression of racism took form, regrettably, in the 17th century and in the 18th century. Because see with Barbados was the first British slave right. society. And, and a lot of the laws and a lot of the iniquitous practices came out of in here. Um, and that's why you've heard me say that while our parliament has had unbroken service, that we have both seen it as an instrument of oppression, but it is now a tool of empowerment in the last 80 or so years. So we start from that perspective. Reparations for us is a development issue, and it is one we believe whose time has come. 20 years ago, when we first started having this discussion, people would laugh us out of the room. When emancipation came, there was a compensation of slave owners of 20 million pounds. We ask ourselves today, when these countries became independent, what was the development compact given to us? We got no development compact to help us with housing or education or health, but all of the wealth that was extracted from these countries for centuries were used to build the monumental edifices that we see all across Europe and North America. When the British were asked for compensation, like the slave owners were, they were told, your freedom is your compensation. And, and that, once How about that? that once again is an offhand comment that causes us to feel that you think we're pawns and not human beings. And we say simply, look, we're not seeking to do anything that is unusual, but we believe that our people have a right to development. And therefore, we feel that there is need for a conversation, particularly for the developing countries of the world, who were made victims for centuries of the extraction of wealth on a continuous basis. Did you like or hate what you heard? Let us know in the comments below. And if you want more candid speeches like this, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to catch all our latest videos. And please feel free to leave your suggestions, news tips, or topics about Africa you'd like us to cover.